Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today I have a thirst for human blood because we're going to be checking out a game called Slime 3K Rise Against D-Spot. And if that sounds familiar to you, well, we did check out D-Spot's game sometime last year. It was a fantastic little indie game, and obviously this game is in the same universe as that. Except in that game, you played the humans. This time you play the monsters, or well, I guess not plural. We are a giant slime. And we have to kill as many humans as possible, survive as long as possible to fight a giant boss, which also, oddly enough, is a monster. I don't know why he's working with the humans, but that's cool. Now, Tiny Build was nice enough to sponsor this first episode, so I do want to thank them for supporting the channel. If you do want to check out the game as you are watching, I'll have a link to the Steam Early Access, which is available on November the 2nd and has a limited time discount for less than $5. So get on it early if you do enjoy it, of course. So yes, uh, this game plays in the same vein as something like Vampire Survivors, except it has a bigger emphasis on deck building and upgrading as you go. There's much more strategy, at least I feel like, uh, when it comes to uh, setting up your character perfectly. So I'm not going to overwhelm you guys with a lot of information. It's very easy to understand once we get into the game. So let's waste no time. I'm going to go over to Abandoned Warehouse, only because I've been struggling on this one. And yes, we'll see how long we can last. All right, well, here we are as an adorable slime. And uh, he's not that adorable, though, because he's going to be killing thousands and thousands of humans if I do this correctly, of course, which it might not happen. As you can see, this game kind of throws you in like crazy right at the start. Compared to other games in this genre, you are going to take a lot of damage, which I kind of like. You never feel safe in this one. All right, and looking at what we have right now, it's actually a pretty good starting. Uh, what I really want to do at the start is try and upgrade these base uh, abilities. So essentially how it works is if you get three of the same item, you can upgrade that to a tier two. If you get two, sorry, if you get three tier twos, you can upgrade that to a tier three, which is max level. So as you can see, I have this gun, which is already the gun that I'm using. We're going to be buying that. And being that uh, we have this as well, not the best card in my opinion, but we will take that. And I didn't realize I didn't have enough currency for the next one. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, I also can't lock that oddly enough if I don't have enough currency. Uh, but you are able to lock cards, which is weird that I can't lock it. I guess you spend the current the, the currency to lock it. Anyways, I'm rambling. Long story short, I'm trying to upgrade my pistol as quickly as possible, uh, and hopefully we can get a few better upgrades here, and there we go. I do love a good eye launcher because I don't have to aim with it. My aim is awful, so I'm going to take that, and that's going to help us out. We also got random dart, which I do have enough money for, so you know what? I'm going to buy two of those as well, and now we have almost maxed out our current abilities. Mind you, they're very low tiers, so we have a lot of upgrading to do once we uh, get a few more upgrades here. Speaking of that, I'm going to take some damage here and try and grab this one so I can finally get a tier two. There we go. Uh, now, I didn't actually show you guys there is letters on these cards. That's essentially their rarity. So what I'm going to do right now is upgrade our shop. As you can see, there's percentages here. And if you played a D spots game, it kind of looks similar to that. But essentially, we're getting common and rare cards right now. We have a 0% chance for the higher tiered cards. So I would like to work my way up to getting some better cards. All right, so we have five uh, currency left. So I'm going to lock this card and I'm going to buy this one. That is the skeleton gun. I shoot giant skeletons. And then obviously when I have enough currency, I will be buying that card right away. So we hopefully get that upgrade. Wow, we are getting so lucky right now uh, with these ATMs. You do have to run over to the ATMs, but that one was right beside us. So we're going to buy that. I'll buy the eye as well. We're very close to tier two on a lot of these things, but we haven't gotten the tier two yet. Now I have four all cards cost three, so I'm going to re-roll. Re, uh, and we got the random dart, so we're going to upgrade that to a tier two. Perfect. So we got two tier two so far. This is going pretty well. I definitely want to focus on upgrading my shop now as quickly as possible so we get some of the, the better cards. And look at that. Another perfect shop. Actually, you know what? We'll upgrade next time only because I want a tier two eyeball. And I guess I'll spend the rest of this money on... I'm not really sure what I want. Let's restock, see what we get. I will buy this C card though, only because it's a slow and having a slow would be nice with how many things are coming at us already in this run. All right, so I feel like I'm holding out just fine. So I'm going to upgrade my shop and now we have a 10% chance to get the gray cards. Nice. Hopefully we can get some rarer cards now and upgrade that. I'm going to take that health. Um, I am keeping health all around the map. They stay forever. So you may as well keep them around for when you need them. All right, and I don't know if I'm being too confident, but I'm just going to start holding some of my currency to upgrade this shop possibly again, unless we get something really good next time. All right, and yeah, I definitely need some damage output now. That was probably a dumb idea. I risked way too much there, but now I have 19 points 
uh, to use. So we'll upgrade our skeleton gun to a tier two. I don't really want anything else. So we are going to restock this. And wow, we are not... Okay, actually, this is fine. I have, will gladly grab a rocket launcher and actually a shotgun. For whatever reason, my brain goes... Uh, if, a, if a card's gray, it's not that rare. But in this game, it is. So I have to get used to that. I have nine left. Uh, so we have maxed out our slots. These four slots over here are just to hold cards, essentially. I think I'm just going to hold out with just that. We should have okay damage output now, and we might be able to upgrade the shop again if we do do okay here. And I'm scared. I'm going to use that to go back over here. There we go. All right, we're going to upgrade the shop. That gave me another uh, rifle. I have five left, so I'm actually just going to put this in the buy slot because we have it here. If we can find one more ice square, we can upgrade that thing. And grab some health, get that speed boost again. All right, restocked, and I got what I wanted. So now I have tier two on a lot of these. I guess I should hold this to buy tier two uh, random nails. That being said, a lot of these cards are low tier cards. So I'm not trying to go for tier three on these, only because we're probably going to sell a lot of these cards very, very soon here now that we're getting into the, the higher tiered stuff. Okay, we got the random nails. So that has allowed me to get the tier two of that. Now, do I want to sell anything for this penetration upgrade? All right, I think I'm going to do random dart. Hits anything but the target. Uh, it's only one shot. I feel like that's the best thing to get rid of. And it's too good to have penetration out of this. So now a lot of these things are going to at least hit two enemies. All right, and I'm happy with that. So I'm going to start collecting cards to see if we can get hopefully some uh, more upgrades. And look at my damage output now. This is fantastic. I mean, it's hard to tell because there's always so many humans on the screen in this game. But I know we are doing okay with just how many ATMs that we're getting uh, for upgrades. All right. Again, I'm going to hold out being that we have, we have an another ATM up here. If I do want to go grab it now, I would love to get an ATM upgrade. Oh, I'm so slow. This might've been a bad idea. Why can't I move up? That was weird for a second there. All right. Definitely want to upgrade my shotgun. So we're going to grab that. I was going to upgrade my station, but that's fine for right now. You know what? Let's look for maybe another shotgun. I'm going to do one more. <laughs> And I got lucky and got my tier two shotgun. Shotgun seems to be doing very, very well. And I mean, just look at how many upgrades I'm getting. Most runs don't go this smoothly for the record. All right, so now we'll finally upgrade our shop. We now have a chance to get oranges. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Those are definitely the cards that you want. And I don't think we really need these low tiered cards anymore. I'm doing okay. Oh, I didn't show you guys the gumball yet. I guess I could do that with this giant... Uh, triangle near me there you go it just kills everything around you and then you re-blob yourself all right got penetration as well so i have a lot of chances for decent upgrades so i'm gonna look for one of those and we actually got penetration again nice so tier two penetration now i just need the rocket launcher and i'm gonna get it right now is that it oh my god i'm so lucky all right now we have tier two on literally everything i don't think i've ever done that this feels really, really good. And the boss is here right now. Unfortunately, we didn't get any of the high tier items, but we have a lot of tier two. So I think we should be okay. I'm going to get some extra damage with that. There we go. I got to actually go around and start collecting some of this DNA because I don't know if I keep it at the end if I don't collect it. Um, <laughs> I'm just running into ATMs. Finally, our first A tier, Caliper Ring. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that in there. I have to try though, right? I don't know if it makes sense to get rid of my pistol or not. All right, so yeah, I'm going to sell this shotgun only because I'm not going to get to a tier three shotgun and I don't really want an extra one. I think I'm going to say goodbye to my pistol and hopefully this thing's good. I haven't used it, but it is an A tier, so we have to throw it in there. Also, I'm just going to buy penetration. I mean, I might be able to upgrade it. I doubt it. We are already half killed the boss, so I don't think we're going to need it. All right, I'm just going to go through the middle here, grab health and just run. I want to go get this thing. <laughs> We got another A. Nice. Oh, my God. And we did get penetration. So there's two, but I need to get another three to get it. Actually, is this not? Oh, my God. There's another one here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go try for tier three penetration. All right. Just need one more for my penetration. And oh, my God. People are going to think this is scripted. <laughs> Last one I could actually re-roll as well because it, it's going to cost me three. So there we go. We have maxed out penetration. Now I shoot through three targets. Um, and the boss is almost down. I'm getting nervous though. Like my whole screen is just enemies right now. I'm just running from upgrade to upgrade. Ah, uh, yes. The nuggets of darkness. I guess we'll buy that. And I mean, I'm not too worried about getting rid of some of these starting ones. So I think we're going to say goodbye to the eye launcher because nuggets of darkness sound way better. 
All right, and maybe let's just end this now because at this point, I'm just kind of taunting this poor giant brain beast and I really am not struggling at all with this run. That was like the dream run. All right, and how this game works is you go throughout the slime tube, getting more upgrades as you go deeper into this game. Uh, so we just got one card. I'm making my way over to another one. I don't know if I'll get it or not, depending on how many humans I've killed here. And it looks like we did get two upgrades there. There we go. So super satisfying way to upgrade. All right, so I got dual wielding. Uh, target abilities fire a second projectile in the opposite direction. That's actually great. And each ability in your inventory tagged finance grants you one token per slime level. Very strategic card. Nice. Okay, and yeah, as you can see, there is quite a few cards for me to unlock in this game. As we make a slime stronger and, sl and stronger, I really want to know what this is. Uh, Triangle of Darkness. It doesn't explain what it what it does, but it does say satellite, so I'm assuming that rotates around me. Interesting. All right. Well, that went well. Let's use some of our upgrade points. I don't think I mentioned this, but with that DNA that we earn uh, allows you to upgrade yourself throughout matches, and I need one more, of course, to actually upgrade myself, so never mind. Hopefully, we can get one here. And we start out again at the start. We got 10 minutes until the giant boss comes. So let's slaughter some humans as quickly as possible. I accidentally took that health thing. And I definitely want an obedient zombie at the start. The zombies are great at the start only because they take some of the heat off of you. Things will attack that instead of me. And you know what? We may as well upgrade the pistol again. That seemed to be like a good strategy last time. So hopefully it works well again. All right, so, so far going well. I wasn't going to bore you guys with the uh, same thing over and over again. But as you can see, I've been focusing once again on getting tier two as quickly as possible. And it's going well. We have a lot of flying wisps going around, uh, which is kind of annoying because they shoot projectiles. But I am not struggling just yet. But I've also been pretty lucky with this run as well. Uh, so what I think I'm going to have to do now is start upgrading my shop like crazy because I haven't upgraded it once and I'm not really struggling on damage output. I would love to get one of the max cards just to see how good they are. Uh, problem is this game goes pretty quickly, so it's very hard to get to that max upgraded shop unless you're investing heavily into it. Wow, there is a lot on my screen right now. I can just get some health. I need to find health quickly. Very, very quickly. Oh, there's health right there. I can't, I can't risk it though. I still, I don't have it. I, I'm dead. <laughs> Oh, man, I was too greedy on freaking shop upgrades, man. That's all right, because we got the health card healthy fat. Each ability in your inventory tagged food grants you 200 health. Uh, we might need to use that card because that would actually be pretty good. Let's see if we can actually get a decent run here. Okay, well, things are going pretty well. Uh, at least I, I, every time I say that, I, I then screw up. But uh, as you can see... Just hit tier two for two shotguns. I also have all of my A's that I can possibly get. I mean, every upgrade I have is very decent. I actually have one open slot now. Um, so I might want to try and get lucky and fill that. We got a 2% chance again for those extra rares. All right, well, oh, <laughs> I was like, all right, well, I guess we'll get another electric, but never mind. Obedient Doc summons an undead with mechanical tentacles every four seconds. Yes, please. And we're going to lock that electric shot. We should be able to upgrade that. We are at four minutes until boss time. There is, as you can see, an upgrade station down there. I haven't been able to reach that one without risking killing myself. Speaking of that, I should probably go find some health. I'm running out of that. But, ah, oh, I can't get fit through there. That's I forgot about that spot. I hate that spot. Oh, God, I need health. I don't know if I should go risk to get that. I have to go risk it. I. This is a dumb idea. This is... Oh, every time I commentate... <laughs> Commentate, I just screw up everything. That was going so well. I didn't even really get to try my S card. I didn't even see it get used. Damn it. Okay, this run, I, I keep saying this and I, I ruin it every time. That's the first time I saw Segway, bro. But this run is going really well in terms of upgrades. I have all the ones I could ask for. If I could get these to tier one or tier two, I think that's where I'm going wrong. I'm just focused solely on getting these upgrades. But I got to actually go for tier one or tier two. So we got all the A tiers again. Uh, just got two more A tiers. So we're going to buy those for storage and focus on upgrading these things. Uh, I actually have enough to upgrade the shop once. Let's actually do that so we have the 2% chance for the... Oh, sorry. That was an S. I got excited. Regardless, we got the nuggets, so we're going to lock that into place. Um, I believe this is... No, that's the electrical shot. So I have one of each, of course. Uh, one more of any, and I get my upgrades, at least. So at least we have all of them. 
Now I just need to survive again until we can use those things. Let's actually go get some health before I regret that decision again. And there we go. Another station here. I'll buy that A tier. And oh, actually, we did have enough for upgrades of darkness. Okay, so upgrades of darkness. Uh, nuggets of darkness. Uh, okay, so I need electric shot and spanner. I'm going to actually hunt for them. We got the spanner. Talk about lucky. I'm only getting a 9% drop rate, so I'm getting quite lucky. And I have no more money, so let's stop getting that and start saving maybe for some uh, store upgrades now. I didn't think about this, but I actually still have my ordinary pistol, so going to the, something like the shotgun might be smart. Might be too late in the game, though. I think I'm just going to upgrade the shop and really try and get some of those rare upgrades before the boss comes in five minutes. Wow, we're only at five minutes, and I have this many upgrades right now. This is by far my best run. And, like, look at all the health around. I mean, it's all in one place, unfortunately. Again, that's kind of what I keep doing. Not really sure why, but, uh, yeah, I have lots of health around the map and speed upgrades if I do need them. Wow, there's two ATMs right here, too. All right, so we finally got our electric shot to tier two. Obviously, if we can get these to tier three, that would be great. I think we should try and find something to fill that final slot, though. And look at that. We found something. We, next roll. Are you serious? We got Obedient Dock again, and we also got the Nuggets of Darkness. All right, we got another Obedient Dock again, too. Wow. Uh, I can't put that one in right now, but if we get one more, then we upgrade that to a tier two, and we should get the shotgun here soon. Do I want to get rid of Scyther Rang for that? It's a tier two. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Screw it. I'm doing it only because I have tier two penetration and the scythe really isn't that great. Okay. Well, things are going well. Let's go grab this other ATM. Would you look at that? Oh my, what the frig is this? Blast wave AOE abilities, knock back enemies. Do I have many? I just have the rocket launcher. I believe that's the only one that's AOE. I believe it actually shows. Yeah. That's the only one that would help that. I don't think as great as that sounds. I don't know if knocking them back is really that great. So I think we'll buy the electric shock and I don't think I'm going to grab that only because I don't have enough AOEs. If I had, haven't had an AOE build, that would be fantastic, but I just don't have enough cards in the game yet. Okay, and we'll buy the shotgun to hopefully upgrade that. Uh, I still have seven, so I think I'm going to just start hunting for upgrades. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm just going to say goodbye to that. Do I have enough nuggets for an upgrade? I don't think so. See, this is where it gets very confusing. Oh, wait, I actually have perfect. So I can get my shotgun upgrade. Then I can grab the nugget. Need one more nugget for that upgrade. I, yeah, I need, I actually have access to a lot of upgrades right now. By far the best run. Let's keep it going here. I need to go get health. I need to go get speed boost and get health. I'm very scared. I'm very scared. These guys do so much damage. Come on, give me some health over here. Yes. And then use this. Oh, God, they have just so much health. I just did 100 damage to them, and they didn't even freaking die. Give me more health. Give me more lots of health. We have fridge bros all around here. This is my safety corner, though. Okay, and would you look? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. First of all, I can do nuggets, because that's going to upgrade that to a tier two. I have one electric shock. Crap, I actually don't have enough spanners to upgrade, even with two here. Uh, so what am I going to get rid of, if anything? I need to get uh, that obedient dock in here. All right, so what we're going to do is lock one of these spanners. I'm going to buy one. That gives me one slot. If I can find one more spanner, we are good. Uh, I have lots of other things to upgrade as well. I just, I only have one slot to hold things, so I need to keep that one, unfortunately, locked. All right, I don't know if it's smart going down here. I do have health over here. These, whatever these tentacle monsters are, do so much damage to the point where I, I feel uncomfortable even having my health bar somewhat low. And gumballs don't really help as much anymore. Hunter damage doesn't kill these things. Oh, I feel like that's actually a, de a detriment only because I have to stay in one area. Oh, God. Oh, God. I need to run over and get that health as quickly as possible. <gasps> Do I go for the ATM? I'm going to have to go for it. At this point, there's no way I'm going to easily get one. Wow. Okay. Um, I got my spanner. So there we go. Wait, didn't I... I thought I only needed one more. Crap. Well, I just screwed up. Huh, I'm going to have to get rid of something because I need a space to even buy any card. So I think my best option, honestly, is the shotgun. As much as I hate doing that because the shotgun's fantastic, it doesn't make sense to do any of the other ones. So yeah, we're going to say goodbye to that. We'll buy this other spanner that upgrades that to a tier two, but it isn't going to help me until I get a whole other tier two spanner. So that's going to be a long play if I even survive this right now. 
Let's keep going. Another freaking spanner. Uh, a beating dock. Nice. Okay, so I can actually upgrade my beating dock to tier two. Perfect. And then obviously we're going to buy that spanner again. And I guess we're going to hunt for three spanners. Uh, mind you, there's still a few other upgrades I can do. Getting kind of crazy with the upgrades now. Uh, I don't even know. I'm trying to like mentally prepare for what's going to happen right when I close this window. I think my only option is to go to the right. So let's go for that. And oh, I'm going to the left. I'm going to the left. I might regret this. I don't think there's any health up here, but I can at least use this black area to keep the majority of the Zerg at bay. Is that a ballerina? We're at ballerina territory. Great. Um. Okay, so I should have enough for an upgrade on this, right? No, I don't because I'm already a tier two. So I need one more of them. Regardless, we're going to buy that. And oh my God. Okay, yes, we'll get that upgrade. So now I have two of those. I'm very close to having tier three on a lot of things. Again, we'll just lock any of the A's just because that's kind of what we're looking for anyways. And uh, okay, move on, move on. Just keep going. I mean, I feel like with how many upgrades I have, my damage output should be amazing. This game is just evil. I have no, please give me health over here. Please give me health. Don't let me die this way. I ha I'm just slowly taking damage by walking into things. Oh, God. There's no health. Oh, I can't go for that ATM right now. I can't do anything because I'm dead. Oh, wow. This game goes hard real quick. All right. I am damn happy with that run, though. I mean, we had a lot of the upgrades I was hunting for. We got some S tier upgrades. Didn't really see much use of that thing, but it was so crazy on the screen. I couldn't even pay attention to what was going on. Uh, we got some new rewards. Ooh, a new S olive gun. Give humans their weeknight dinner of 30 to 40 olives. That card alone makes me want to play more just to see what it does. I mean, obviously, it just shoots olives, but that is hilarious to me. I think that's enough for this episode, though, guys. Once again, this is Slime 3K Rise Against D-Spot. Let me know what you guys think of it. I love how fast-paced and insane it is, even in this genre of games that are just normally insane. This one seems to be ahead of those ones a little bit. So yeah, if you guys would like to see more, I would love to uh, play a little bit more to get some more upgrades for myself because that's definitely where I think I need to uh, do a little bit better. Um, obviously, the stronger I am at the start, the better chance I have at surviving some of those endgame creatures and bosses. So yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.